Hi, my name is Geneva Long, CEO of Bolus, and today I'm going to take you for a walkthrough of the 2025 Endless Highways 95th Anniversary Edition. Let's get started. The all-new Endless Highways continues the Bolus legacy of the ultimate off-grid lightweight luxury RV with a luxurious floor plan featuring elegant finishes, a large separate bedroom with convertible twins to king bed, luxury ensuite bathroom, roomy living room, kitchen, while you're ready to traverse dramatic and remote campsites. The Endless Highways powers appliances like air conditioning and operates uninterrupted off-grid thanks to the top-tier Bolus power management system and optioned aero solar as well. Uh, the Bolus is the most aerodynamic RV and the Endless Highways is extraordinarily light at only 4,000 pound GVWR which gives the Bolus the most extended EV towing range of any RV, which I'll dive into a little bit more. The Endless Highway starts at 173000 after tax credit. And to celebrate this very special release, Bolus is debuting the Endless Highways in a very special 95th anniversary limited edition. Um, and this 95th anniversary limited edition celebrates the incredible history of the Bolus brand, both modern and vintage, that includes the first riveted aluminum RV, so the one that really started it all, um, and commemorating Harley Bolus's vision of aerodynamic land travel is very special and close to our hearts. The Bolus brand continues to ignite the spirit of adventure and deliver on that promise as the ultimate in luxury land travel. The Endless Highways 95th Anniversary Edition is limited to 95 RVs and includes the Adventure Package, the Lux Package, Off-Grid Power Pack, and the stunning, exquisite Bolus screen door, uh, truly a work of art that I'll dive into a little bit more. Um, each 95th Anniversary Edition is badged, numbered, and uh, signed by me, and are available in either Falcon or Osprey interior color stories. And the 95th anniversary edition Endless Hurray starts at $235,000 after tax credit. So let's dive in to the, in, uh, we'll do the outside first and then go towards the inside. So we'll get started here at the front of the bolus. As you can see, we've got that beautiful limited edition screen door here. And that has bronze screens. All of our screens in a bolus are bronze commercial grade deadbolt locks. And you can see the screen door, which takes us over a hundred hours to make, which just to put into context is longer than most entire RVs take to make, um, is this beautiful door within a door system. So you'll see you've got that bronze screen, the door stay, and really fantastic cross breeze. Now we have that same fantastic cross breeze in the whole Endless Highways lineup because of the placement of the windows and of the way that they open. Let's focus on the hitch for a little bit. So we have a uh, two inch, uh, the coupler takes a two inch ball and we have that jockey wheel on the front. And because we have such a low hitch weight of under 300 pounds, you can really move around the bolus um, by hand by yourself. And of course, if you want to add the arrow move feature, that's an option as well. But feel free to jump over to some of my other videos and definitely the, the official Endless Highways video, which will show um, how easy it is to move around the bolus by hand in the showroom. Right now I have the jacks down and we're chalked, so I'm not going to spin it around. Um, but certainly very easy to do on level ground. We'll also touch on the aero move feature as we move backwards. But if you're looking to, um, you know, get into uh, harder to reach destinations or destinations that have an incline or where it's difficult to get your tow vehicle in there, Aero Move is a really fantastic uh, feature as well. And that can be optioned on any of our Bolus models. I'll just give you a quick peek back here. Um, so that would be Aero Move back there. And again, that is an option that can be added on to any of our models. Back to the uh, front of the hitch. So you'll notice no weight equalization or stabilization is needed. That's because the Bolus RV is already perfectly balanced. 
has that low hitch weight and is also very lightweight. So we talked about the GBWR 4,000 pounds before, but this has a dry weight of 3,200 pounds, which is incredibly lightweight. So you have about 800 pounds, and I say about because obviously that depends on, on what um, packages and options you take. Um, as we spin around here, the Endless Highways 95th anniversary has the Lux package, and that Lux package includes a propane tank cover, which you'll see here. We have a 22 pound propane tank. Otherwise, your propane tank would look like what we have over there on the rivet. Also on the hitch, we have this really fantastic step, uh, very wide. I'll just put my foot there so you have an idea of, of how large it is. Uh, step at the uh, porch light at the front and grab handle up top. And because of the way the bolus is made, you have that step-in frame design, um, which means that we have 6'4 on the interior, so really spacious, and uh, you're not hitting your head or anything like that on the door on the way out like you might see with other RVs. Now I'll just touch on the um, exterior material and how it's built very quickly, but we do have extensive videos on how the bolus is made as well. So we use 2024 T3 aluminum, which is aircraft grade aluminum, the strongest type of aluminum, um, but very thin. Um, and so that's why it's lightweight. We use aircraft grade rivets as well. So just close up on that beautiful rivet line. Um, and that's creating that monocoque design. So if you were to follow the bolus all the way under, you'll notice that that Aluminum wraps around the inside of, or sorry, the outside of the bolus, which gives um, no entry point for dust, vermin, or anything else like that. As we move around, we've got um, drip rails on the windows. We have the awning rail here. The awning is included and can go on either side. Uh, these are weeping holes for the windows. As we go down below, we have two storage, um, outdoor storage compartments. Both are lockable. So I'll open the first one. And you can really appreciate just how deep it is. So we have our awning in here. Um, but, you know, we have that awning all the way there and all the way over. So this outdoor storage hatch is great for, um, for chairs, for obviously the awning, for any of the larger gear. As I stand up, we've got that outdoor um, table bracket. Now, the same table that can be set up outdoors is the same one that can be set up on the sofa side, and that is a Lux package feature. As we move back, we have the second outdoor storage, and you'll notice chalks and the um, Shore power cable fit really well in here. You'll also notice that we have a um, outlet right here. So to plug in anything that you might want to plug in for outdoor use. And close up shot down here on arrow move. We have lots of videos demoing that if you want to take a look. You'll also see the three inch lift and the all terrain tires on this um, 95th anniversary edition. And so that's what those all terrain tires looking like, the three inch lift. And there's also the cargo lashing system inside as well, which I'll show you once we go inside. So that adventure package is an option on the endless highways and is included in the 95th anniversary. As we move back, we have the cassette toilet system. Now we have lots of videos demonstrating this cassette toilet system, but incredibly hygienic. It's what's used in most European RVs. And it's great for when you are um, off-grid camping because you can dump it at any toilet or porta potty. You're not looking for a um, sewage dumping station, an RV dumping station, no stinky slinky, no macerator, none of those terrible things that you might have heard about. And so um, that just slides out easily like that. We also have a, a zero pressure uh, fan system that's built into that toilet cassette so that when you flush the toilet from inside, no smells are able to escape. So very hygienic system. 
some venting for our heater boiler system, stabilization jacks. We also have stabilization jacks in the front, so total of four of them. And then as we head back, we have this window here, which slides open, drip rail there. Oh, and I almost missed the aerosolar. Um, and so aerosolar is an option in either of our off-grid power packages, both off-grid power package one and off-grid power package two. And um, aerosolar on the endless highways is 220 watts, but you can extend that up to 480 watts with the optional suitcase style solar panels. And Aerosolar um, allows you to be gaining solar power um, at all times, whether stationary, on the move, um, camping, all of that, and allows you to recharge your batteries. Now, just a, a comment on the um, battery power. So on our anniversary edition, we have 17 kilowatt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries, and we have been using lithium since 2016. We have a very complex, sophisticated system. Um, that allows you to operate all of your large appliances, all of your outlets, um, almost uh, really just as seamlessly as you would in your home off grid in your RV. And that's that's very unique and special. And so do not be confused by, you know, a dealer saying they can just put in some lithium for you. Uh, there really is a huge variety of what battery systems are. Ours is yacht quality. So the same that's found on on yachts, you know, in the middle of the med, etc. And so a system that's been tested for long, extensive off grid use. And as we go towards the back, we have these two uh, fixed windows, which is one of my favorite views of the bolus, LED tail lights, and the anniversary edition, it contains that Lux package, the Lux package includes the bumper, and the backup camera as well. And as we move around, we've got a uh, license plate area, license plate light, gravity fill water system. So the Endless Highways has a 50 gallon fresh water capacity, 31 gallon gray water capacity. The Endless Highways base has a 20 gallon fresh water capacity, 21 gallon gray water capacity. And we move over to power now. Oh, almost missed city water. So we've got city water connection right there. Shore power input. So um, everything inside the bolus can run on 15 amp, which is uh, your standard household appliance. Huge advantage, because if you're thinking of bringing your bolus and parking friends and family's home, or maybe even at a harvest host location that might only have 15 amp, you'll still be able to run all of your air conditioners, et cetera off of that smaller. And of course, if you have RV service for that 30 amp, you could run that too. So that's um, that shore power cable. And then we have those two additional solar ports here that we talked about for those suitcase style solar panels. Panning up, we have the um, emergency exit right here. And that's where the shower is in the endless highways. And so you're able to um, extend that shower outdoors for an outdoor shower. Got that awning rail on this side as well. And our aerosolar. Let's head on inside. So as we jump on inside the 95th anniversary edition, I just first want to call out the beautiful Osprey color theme. So we have that oak and um, ebony flooring, which is marine grade flooring and just truly beautiful. And then we have the um, cream seating as well. And we use a uh, fantastic ultra fabric product that hands out, uh, handles fantastically with dog claws, um, you know, very, very hard wearing use. So really fantastic here with this color palette. and. And we've set it up for the display with a king bedding um, set up right now. But the beds in the endless highways are convertible between um, two twins or a king. And like I said, I have the um, king set up right now. The twin beds have been widened for our 2025 model year. So you'll find them even more um, extensive than before. And the king bed is six, seven in length. 
Um, so fantastic for our taller friends as well. Now we'll get started in the kitchen. Um, so I'm standing in the kitchen right now. We have um, the Lux package, like I said, inside this anniversary edition, which comes with the beautiful portholes and the shelves. As we pan down, we have our, our fire extinguisher, of course, and then we also have the induction cooktop. So I'll just uh, turn that on. And uh, that has the two burners. And that's turned on right here on that switch. Oh, there we go. And uh, also plugs. And like I said, all of the outlets are live off the inverter at all times. And so you're never fighting over one plug. A uh, great 3000 watt inverter. So perfect for blenders, for um, any of those larger appliances. I like to bring um, an espresso and a milk frother when I travel. And all of that perfectly plugs into um the electrical system. This is the light for the step out front that I showed you before. And then our storage of the fridge. So 12 volt refrigerator with freezer. Let's give you a full pan of that. Very efficient. And then on the other side, we again have another porthole in that Lux package the shelf and the drawer as well. All of our drawers are gonna be hard pull and soft close. So you won't find that they're dumping out well in transit. All stainless steel countertops, really deep, fantastic sink. This does extend um, all the way to the door, I'm doing it with my left hand. So not as coordinated, my apologies. And then we have the um, microwave really fantastic storage drawers. We have two of these. So one and two. Incredibly easy access. And then we have these two cabinets on either side and I'll just open up both of them. And I find I like to put my garbage can down here. And then on the other side, you have three shelves. And so a really fantastic amount of storage in the kitchen. Um, great for all of those pantry items you might want to make or bring. And then you'll also notice in every bolus, our storage isn't up top, it's down low. And that really leads to great handling because we have that low center of gravity, but also a really big airy feeling when you're inside. And so you don't have things at eye level that are making you feel claustrophobic or closed in or anything like that. It's really beautiful and open. Um, so I took a seat here at the dinette. And um, so you've got the dinette on this side, and then you've got the sofa on the other side. And the sofa does have a sofa style table and you'll find a few images of that online. And that's that same outdoor table that is able to be set up here so that you have dining for four. All of these windows slide open in the living room. So really great cross ventilation, which I was talking about, those brass screens. You have your curtains. I'll just pull those down to show you. So all of those roll down, providing fantastic privacy inside the bolus. And then, um, oh, storage. So down below, we have that storage like I was talking about. So under the sofa side, we have three drawers. I'll just open this one in the middle just to show you the size. They're all the same size. And so perfect for traveling for four. And though for those seeking extra storage, the Endless Highways is really fantastic because it also has um, the yours and, mine uh, yours and Mine closets, which I'll show you in a second. And this is an air conditioning vent on this side. This bolus has three air conditioning events. And just a little, um, you know, mention now on air conditioning. So the bolus air conditioning can run off the grid for various amounts of time, depending on what off-grid power package you select. And so um, review our model comparison chart for the full different amount of air conditioning time off batteries 
for depending on what what battery setup you are thinking of or have selected. Um, but like I mentioned outside, air conditioning can also run off of just a standard household plug or 15 amps. So if you're looking to run, you know, maybe you really love that that hot weather camping. Um, if you're looking to run air conditioning for multiple days in a row all day long, then it's really great because that air conditioning can operate off of 15 amp. You only need a small um, generator. So you could think maybe a Honda 2200 watt would um, fully be able to um, give you enough power to run that air conditioning inside. So really great flexibility on that side. Um, the heating system, which I'll dive into, I guess now, may as well, um, can run off of both propane or electric. And so you have that flexibility of how you want it to run. We use a really fantastic hydronic heating system that's from Sweden. And what that is, is it pumps um, glycol or antifreeze around the interior of the bolus. So when we were outside, we talked about what that monocoque shape gives you which means nothing is hanging out outside, but it also means that all of the water lines are inside the bolus. And so as long as there is heating inside the bolus, then you're able to keep all the water lines warm and therefore use them. So four seasons camping. And even if you're not thinking, oh, hey, I'm going to be camping on the, you know, in the dead of winter, it's still a really useful feature to have because, you know, sometimes we're, we're camping in, in mountain destinations or desert destinations that we don't realize that that, that temperature actually does swing quite a bit lower um, at night. And so again, you don't want your water systems freezing. And so when you're keeping everything inside the bolus warm, uh, then you're able to use your full water system. So definitely an important feature to consider for your next RV. And um, we may as well dive into the panels right now. So this is gonna be your heater boiler system. Again, made in Sweden, showing interior temperature, exterior temperature, and then giving you the ability to set the temperature inside, program if you want it on electric. And if you do want it on electric, if you want it on electric level one, which would use eight amps of power, or electric level two, which would use 16 amps of power. So it would depend on what you were plugged in to shore power on the outside. Um, and also the amount of power you'd want to invert on the inside. And then you'd also have the ability to uh, use the propane system on the front for heating as well. And this also does your hot water. And then as you move over, you've got your monitoring panel. Monitoring panels are also done through the touchscreen panel here. And then you've got your inverter charger. So this allows you to invert power. So right now we're plugged into shore power on the outside. And so we're in charge only mode, which you can see the, the power is coming in and charging up our battery. And then we can also see that on our touchscreen panel. So we're at 100% right now, um, but we are getting 78 watts from shore. We're using nine watts inside the trailer and then our solar absorption is also going to be in this yellow box over here and we're indoors right now so we have uh, zero watts of solar absorption but it gives you a really great picture of what your power situation is and how much power you have left and then you know if you didn't want to invert power you would use this to off that would still you know the lights are still on so still allow you to use the um, 12 volt system um, and then you can see that's just changed the panel. So now um, any of our power is coming from our batteries. And then you can also, if you wanted to both invert power, you would flick that over to on. And that's going to allow you to use the, um, and we just had a beep because it just powered to all of the um, 120 volt appliances. So the air conditioner just beeped, et cetera. Um, and that's gonna allow you to invert power from the batteries um, as well as charge them if you were plugged into shore power like you are. Um, but that's gonna take some of that battery power when you go to, to use it. So that's just a quick overview on what that, that panel is. So I'm gonna turn it back to charge only because like I said, we are plugged in. You then have that main power switch next to it. That's a main off power switch. Um, so that will turn um, all of your power off, disconnect the battery, et cetera. This is the light switch for the um, vanity lighting. Lots of storage behind this medicine, medicine cabinet. 
vanity mirror. You've got sink, stainless steel countertops again, vanity, and plug that's always live as well. And now I'm going to show you, oh, actually, let me do the closets first before I show you the door system. So we have the yours and mine closets here. And so um, you see my reflection because we've got a full length mirror right here. Um, but inside the closet, we've got tons of storage. We've got storage up above, clothes hanging bar, super tall, so great for jackets, dresses, anything like that. And then shoes storage down below. And on the other side, we have the exact mirror. So if you don't want to share, you don't have to. Um, and here we've got uh, more storage above. Again, the rack, we have this strap. So this is where you can secure the optional suitcase style solar panels we use. This is the um, outdoor or outdoor table sofa side slash sofa side table that's secured in right here. And then shoe storage down below. And one thing I forgot to mention is a living room, um, which is that it can convert into two beds. So you've got one bed on this side, and that's by removing these two cushions on the back and the armrests. And then you can also remove the dinette top, insert um, the supports down below, push the cushions together, and turn this side into a bed. And so that's how you have sleeping for four. Um, other Lux package inserts are obviously the beautiful birch wood, which is one of my favorite features. The skylights um, up above, which do also come with blinds. And then um, upgraded seating fabrics and seating uh, foam. So it's got the armrests, it's got the additional back support, um, higher grade foam as well. Although at Bolus, we are always using Sierra Pure style. Uh, certified foams. And then you also have uh, the LED reading lights throughout. And a uh, perfect time to transition into the bathroom. So to open the bathroom door or to, to make our bathroom. So the great thing about a bolus bathroom is it's away when you're not using it, but then you're able to create this massive space when you are. So I just closed the bedroom off from the bathroom and now I'm going to spin around and I'm gonna do the same over here and close the living room off from the bathroom as well. So now I'm in the bathroom and um, as you can see, there is a ton of space in here. So I have the toilet over here and we already talked a lot about that cassette toilet system and feel free to watch my other videos. Toilet paper holder, even more storage for toiletries behind. You've got that extra AC vent here. This is where you can fill the glycol. So that's the glycol for the heating system, like we mentioned. This blue button adds water into the toilet bowl. And then this is the flush for the toilet. And then we've already done most of the vanity. Down below, this is the air conditioner air intake. And then over to the other side, we have the shower. And we've got this waterproof LED light inside the shower. And here we are inside the shower. And uh, some more Lux features of um, the drying rack and the um, amenity bottles. And then um, the shower, so for anyone probably taller than me, so about five, six, you're probably going to want to sit, but you'll have so much room when you're sitting. So I'll just kind of give you a, a pan of my, of my legs. So my legs aren't even touching the wall. And obviously I'm sitting here. If I was sitting here normally at the seat, you've got tons of room here. So lots of room. Emergency exit again on that side. We already saw it from the exterior and that allows you to take the shower and pass it out through the emergency exit. So lots of storage room. Panning back just so you can see how expansive the bathroom is as well. And um, now I'm gonna head into the bedroom. 
before I do, I actually realized that I missed the air conditioning panel. So this is going to be the air conditioning panel. Um, there is also a dehumidifying mode and a fan mode for those who are in maybe more humid climates. So that can be um, set. And we already talked a lot about how that can run off the batteries, etc. So now we are in the bedroom. And uh, we have it set up for king, but it is convertible into two twins. Fixed windows at the rear. We also have that tablet mount right there, the, the bedside table. Mini booster fan, which is this right here, um, which is perfect for cold weather camping. So just some warm air on the toes. USB, USC charging there as well. And then you have the blinds, reading lights. The beautiful birch wood. This is really one of my favorite rooms inside the bowl. It's just because how beautiful all that wood comes together. And then we just have this again set up in Kings. And like you'll see when you have it set up in King, you've got lots of storage down below. And uh, also worth mentioning, you've got a um, outlet down there and that's great for um, CPAP machine, anything else like that, that you might want to have access to closer to the bedroom that needs 110 volt power. So I think that concludes our walkthrough of the 95th anniversary limited edition endless highways. Um, let us know if you have any questions in the comments or feel free to reach out to us on our website. There's a contact us form that will direct you to our helpful Bolus sales team. And I'll be making another video showcasing um, the Osprey. Oh, sorry, this is Osprey showcasing Falcon, which is the other color theme available in the limited edition, which is a darker color theme. So that has darker seating, darker brown seating, and it has a um, teak and ebony flooring. So um, quite a different look as well but we are thrilled at the launch of the 95th anniversary and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much.